back to my channel if you don't know me already my name is Mary Vanessa and if you're new here go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified every time I post a new video and for this week's video we have a special guest star hey guys my name is Elisa for those of you who don't know and I'm here because we are going to start a whole cooking skit where every other week there will well every week there'll be a new uh, cooking video but every other week it'll be in a different channel that makes sense right yeah yeah okay okay so this week it's going to be on my channel obviously you <laughs> hey, what all are we gonna be making well van has been um craving ceviche for the longest um we're gonna be making ceviche de camarón for for those of you who don't know what ceviche is so there's a lot of types of ceviche but what ceviche stands for is like the chopped up um, tomato, onion, what else? Chile, uh, which is like tomato. a jalapeno. Tomato, onion, a jalapeno. Some people put cucumber, cilantro. Um, that's what it's called. Cilantro. <laughs> what? Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, right. And um, some people put. Some people use tuna. Some people put shrimp. Some people use crab. Some people use. Mm -hmm. Meat. Ooh, carne apache is so good. But today we're going to be making it out of shrimp because that's what Brian has been craving. Then we're going to make flan for dessert. And <laughs> this video I'm about to be long. Yeah. And to start off, I'm going to show you guys how to make one of my new favorite drinks. It's, it's like a lazy drink, like when you don't feel like doing a lot, but it tastes really, really good. And it quenches the thirst. Okay, guys, so first you're going to need your cup, uh, a plastic plate some tahin and then a lot of people use chamoy but we use uh buffalo is that what it's called yeah it's buffalo para sus botanas um it's a little bit spicier than chamoy it's not even that it's spicier it's just not as like sweet sweet and thick as chamoy is i just feel like it's way better for these so on your um plate you're gonna put And take your cup and just wet the rim as much as you can, and then get the heen. I know people put the like they try to throw the rim on the tahin the same way they did the chamoy, but you don't get enough if you don't like do it. What do you mean? Okay, after this part, you're going to just drop a bit in there and cover the whole cup you might need yep you might need more depending how big your cup is okay. oh you might need a lot more depending how big your cup is or you might need less depending how small your cup is but you just want enough to like cover the cup and have a very small amount on the bottom okay. mm -hmm. Then you're gonna get some ice onto the cup. Which then you only want to fill half the cup of um, you only want to fill up half of the cup with ice because you want enough room for some orange juice. And then a Cayman Jack margarita. We were going to put add a shot of tequila just to spice, spice things up a little bit, but the tequila hasn't arrived just yet. Okay. You add some. Do you want some more? Yeah, you just add so it can go down the middle. You add a little splash on top. <laughs> and then some tahini. And you're done and it's so fucking good i mean i don't know if this is like a popular drink i really don't know i was bored as fuck one day and i was bored in the house and i wanted a little drink let me try it and i looked up what i i looked at what i had in the house and i was like all right we're gonna have to do something with this because the bitch is thirsty no no mm. 
these are so good. Okay, so we're gonna start making the ceviche, so yeah. Okay, listos. Okay, so for your ceviche, you are going to need a cutting board, some knives. I have ratchet ends knives. Vanna only knows how to use little knives, so. Yeah, sadly. Um, Ali got hungry and bit off the tip. <laughs> um, you're gonna need some. Are these jalapenos? Chiles verdes. You need your tomatoes, your lemons, an onion. I don't You're going to need up. some cilantro. Um, and yeah, let's get started. I want y'all to know that our cooking videos are going to be actual cooking. We're not going to be doing Why freaking... Why are you Is it straight? Yeah, we're not going to be doing like... Sometimes we'll probably do like little botanas or something, but we're gonna do actual cooking. So yes, Louis, I'm coming for you, bitch. We're about to battle <laughs> this hoe out. You guys, me and Julie made some bomb ass chilaquiles the other day. Technically, she let did the, everything. Let the Latina cook off begin, bitch. Technically, she made a salsa and like she made a chicken or whatever, but I did the hard work. What is it called? I. I crispied the tortilla bits, but it was really good. Maybe we should do a video on that one. But yeah, so let's get started. And obviously you're gonna need shrimp for this, this ceviche, but my mom hasn't gotten any shrimp, so. You guys meet Vanna's daughter. Her name is Allison. Mm -hmm. You guys didn't know, Vanna got pregnant at 15. It's okay, it's not a secret. Okay, so... <laughs> These pieces are coming out of the Do you feel that's not know how to cut? No. Nobody ever told me. Then you get your phone and look up how to properly cut a tomato. I know, it's gross. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I hate cooking when I'm not in the mood to cook. You know what I mean? I am in the mood to cook. I've been wanting to cook this thing on this. Let me tell y'all a story. She told me she wanted to make chilaquiles. Right. So I said, all right, let's make chilaquiles. You know what's all she did? The only thing she did was fry the tortilla. It's because what I, I wanted to make green, I mean red chilaquiles, not green. And that's what she wanted to make. So I was like, okay, I don't know how to make the green one. So you go ahead and do it. You don't know how to make, she thinks just because she saw a video, she remembers that how to make them. Is, because it's so simple. Because we had the chiles to make the red one too. Like The green one was even more simple. No, it wasn't. Yes, you did. All you no, did was put the, the vegetables in the comal, put the comal in the blender to make the freaking salsa. Look, this is coming out all types of like Funny, can you please grab your phone and look up how to properly No, I figured out how to do it, but since I already started this side wrong, it's gonna be the right shape. Okay. I swear it's not gonna let me teach you. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna finish cutting up the vegetales and all that. <clears throat> and we'll get back. Wow, she knows Spanish word. So we cut up the tomato. She cut up the tomato. I cut up the tomato. Let's <laughs> see what else. Okay, go. <laughs> then you're gonna add your jalapeno. Oh shit! Your jalapeno. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut the onion. I've never cut an onion before. This one. Tommy doesn't know how to do shit. I'm not a housewife. I'm not no housewife either, bitch. Oh, I'm not liking material at all. Either. We can have takeout every afternoon. <laughs> Don't be like the middle where they eat burgers for dinner. Oh my day. god, I miss watching that. I was a housewife for a year and a few months, guys. Just, you know, watching Ellie grow. So, yeah, like the dots are awesome, right? But it's like also really hard being a stay at home mom, not only because obviously you have to take care of the household and everything that comes with it, but also just it's mentally 
How many times are you supposed to peel this? Huh? How many times are you supposed to peel this? So it's clean. How? It's clean. That shit goes deep. No. That's money. Do we cut that part off? Those are. What are you doing? No. Are you sure? Why would you do that? Because now okay. you're gonna cry for sure. Oh really? Yeah. You were supposed to leave that on. Are you sure it's not this end? No, it's both ends. Cut it in half. What? <laughs> I'm done cooking with Vanny, Brian. Vanny doesn't know how to cook for shit. <laughs> Why did this happen? <laughs> how come? I'm honestly, I honestly thought you knew like this stuff. I can cook, like I know what to do. I just never cook. I eat all day. All right, we're gonna pause the video, guys, because I'm gonna use the onion as an excuse of why I'm crying. What is that? Ah! Yeah, so we'll catch up. Okay, you guys, so we finally got our shrimp. Uh, and now we need our bucket. It's all seasoned up, ready for me to cut, so I'm gonna cut some. We boiled the shrimp because it was like frozen, you know, raw and or whatever. And we didn't want to let it stay in the citrus for so long because usually for ceviche, you let it stay in any citrus, whether it be lemon or lime, for it to cook, but we hungry, so we boiled it for a bit. Yeah, so... But make sure you don't let it boil for too long because if you overcook it, the skin will stick. The, the Is that called skin? Yeah, the skin will stick to the shrimp and you won't be able to peel it. Exactly. So now I'm gonna just cut all the shrimp pieces up. Okay, so we finished cutting up the shrimp. It's all mixed in there, so now, now we're going to put in some lemon and some salt. So that's how you make food. Basically, if we were working in construction, Bane would be my chalan because all she's doing is the extra work while I do the real work. So that's how you make ceviche. I feel like definitely the amount of lemons and like salt that you put has to be like at this point, you know? Okay, hey guys, so instead of making flan for dessert, we decided we make um, chocolate covered strawberries. Just because the strawberries. Oh, let me turn it on. Just because the strawberries look like they're about to expire, so we're gonna go ahead and make the strawberries now because we feel like chocolate covered strawberries and flan is too much. Yeah. So we're just gonna do the strawberries now, and then during the week, we'll make the flan. So it's obviously pretty simple how to make chocolate couple strawberries but just in case you guys don't know we're gonna show you <laughs> yeah um we're not gonna go fully detailed because there's some there's um a lot of a lot of our friends make strawberries and sell them and they're very detailed and the strawberries come out very beautiful obviously we're not gonna do all that we're just gonna dip them in strawberry and chocolate and call them a day but obviously i'd like to <laughs> what am i saying um, these are the strawberries we're using. <laughs> these are the strawberries we're using. So like, these are the strawberries we're gonna use. You know who you, who you sound like? And you're like, these are the strawberries we're using. <laughs> On tonight's episode, <laughs> we're going to be making chocolate covered oh. strawberries. <laughs> What's your name? No. <laughs> Chills. Mr. Nightmare is different. Chills. On today. Did you guys <laughs> see that? The way the door moved open. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't seen Mr. Nightmare's videos, you can No, that's go Chills. Watch that's Chills. Mr. Nightmare's is different. Chills is the one who's like, Did you guys see that? 
the doll moved. And Wait. Mr. Nightmare is the one that's like, on Saturday morning, <laughs> I got up and I went to school. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We love you guys. We love Mr. Nightmare. We love chills. We love watching the videos. It's just so funny. Like um, their their tone, their voice. It's it's really funny. Okay, guys. So I always get the same chocolate just because it's really Show easy them the for me. The bottle. This so, is what Julie is drinking. Oh yeah, I finished all my K-Man, so started drinking that. It's really good. And it's only eight dollars at Sam's, and you get fucked up off of it. So. Or should I the chocolate use? This is the chocolate I use just because um, I've used it multiple times already. I'm sorry if I look so ugly without lashes. They just they look really good. Whatever. Shut up, bitch. You're too <laughs> drunk to see. Anyway, I do recommend y'all use toothpicks because it's easier to dip the strawberry and like get that perfect thing so you don't have that outer edge. Um, but if you don't have strawberries, it's okay. It still tastes bomb as fuck. I mean, strawberries. If you don't have the toothpick, it's okay. It still tastes Don't really, come really good. for me if you see my crispy ass lips I've been eating. Just saying. So you're gonna use. I've already used. <laughs> it was a whole bar. I already it used two pieces. It depends um, how many strawberries. Yeah. You're gonna so make. a big box like this, you would use two. A little box, you'd only use one. Um, so I'm gonna melt two bars. Just <laughs> two sammies. Two bars. Okay. So my sister obviously left me alone. The chocolate finally melted. This is what it should look like. Oh, it's really hot, actually. I think she put it for like two minutes in the microwave. I don't know. But to be able to make space, we got these like um, top topperware, topperware, whatever it's called. These are the topperware tops. Yeah, it's ready. And we put like foil on top of this, and we put the strawberries on top. It's <laughs> pretty easy. As you can see, what? it's pretty freaking easy. Where they at? Um, the process is very Daddy. easy. Daddy. Dip it. So yeah, we're gonna finish doing yeah. the strawberries and then we'll come back. I love this one, girl. You can have this one, girl. Okay, so we finished the strawberries. They're not the prettiest. Yeah. They look really good. Not These are good. mine. These are Vanin's, her ugly ass shit. But they're really good. <sighs> hey, y'all hit me up for, what would you call it? Cleaning your headlights on fire. We're gonna post some videos at the end. <laughs> pictures, I'm not pictures. I don't got no videos. Yo, that's <laughs> Next week we're making fun. <laughs>